All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon top 10 video. Today, I'm going to be going over the top 10 features that I would like to see in Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. So these are gonna be either features that have happened but haven't been, I guess, brought back for quite a few years or brand new ideas or just simply things that people really would like to see. So keep in mind this list is completely my own opinion and if you guys have a different opinion, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get started. Kicking us off, coming in at number 10 is trainer customization. Now obviously this is a feature that's been around since Pokemon X and Y, but I would kind of like to see them expanded a little bit further. It always seems like males get the short end of the stick when it comes to trainer customization. Females get like way more hairstyles and just more clothing options than the males. So I would kind of like to see them maybe even that out a little bit and just maybe a little bit more diverse uh, clothing options. Uh, for example, they haven't like in uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, uh, they have literally no long pants. <laughs> they have jeans, but they're like cut off or whatever. And I mean, it, it makes sense because Alola is based on Hawaii. It gets really hot there. But you know, I mean, I don't know. I feel like they could at least just add more like long pants, short pants, shorts, t-shirts, uh, jackets, you know, stuff like that. It doesn't have to be completely realistic. Number nine is kind of a new feature. They have something like it, and I'll go into detail here, but I would like to see the ability to dress up your Pokemon in Wi-Fi battles. So obviously they have like Pokestar Studios or the Pokemon Photo Club in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but I think they could expand it further and allow you to like wear the little accessories in Wi-Fi battles. That would be so cool. I got the idea for this feature. I saw somebody on DeviantArt, they drew like a little chibi scyther, but it had a little bow tie. I thought it looked amazing. So I think it would be pretty cool. It would definitely add a little flair to Wi-Fi battles. You could definitely put more of yourself uh, in your Pokemon. It would just basically show more of your personality. I think it would just be really cool for Wi-Fi battling. And also, it wouldn't really change anything as far as Wi-Fi battling. It would just be sheerly cosmetic. Number eight is a feature that I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video wants, and that is Pokemon following you. But I think they could extend it to maybe not be mandatory, maybe have a button to turn it on or off for people that don't really care for this feature. In the data for Pokemon Sun and Moon, they actually found walking animations for every single Pokemon in the game. They're actually low polygon models, and uh, I think what Game Freak did is they future-proofed themselves by making these high resolution models then scaling them down for the 3DS. And because the Nintendo Switch is so much more powerful than the 3DS, I don't think that they'll have to downscale at all. I think they'll just use the same models but the higher resolution versions. And because all these models are already in the data for Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I don't think it's that crazy of an idea to assume that these features will be returning in Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. Number 7 is a feature that Game Freak has already addressed. I really want a console scale Pokemon adventure. Mr. Hero, you're <laughs> don't get why this hasn't happened yet. <laughs> all I ask is that they take the basic Pokemon premise of gotta catch them all in a large open-ish world. Bam, done. David, They stated that Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch will be an open world adventure. So I'm kind of hoping it's gonna be something like Pixelmon, the Pokemon mod for Minecraft where the Pokemon models would show up in the overworld and you can just walk up to them and battle them and catch them that way. It would really change up the formula and make you have to actually hunt for the Pokemon you want rather than you hoping you randomly stumble across it in tall grass. I'm not saying that they have to go Breath of the Wild style, but it definitely would add something new to the table. Number six is a bit of a personal preference thing for me, but I really miss the gym system. While I do applaud them for at least trying to change up the formula a bit with Trials in Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I just found that they weren't as fun as the gym challenge. Call it nostalgia, but I really miss the feeling I got when I beat a trainer and got a shiny new gym badge in hand. And uh, alongside gym badges, I would love to see the return of the Battle Frontier from 3rd Gen. I think that was amazing. I loved collecting those medals and it just kind of added more of a replay value to the games. Alternatively, if they don't want to add the Battle Frontier, I would also really love to see a game with two regions again. I think that was a fantastic idea and it's just something that a lot of people would like to see return. Number five is something for us older gen players, people like me who have been playing since the very beginning, since like red, blue, and yellow. 
and that is I would like to see a darker, more gritty, more mature storyline in the future games because honestly, I have not been encapsulated by the evil team since like Black and White and Black and White 2. The evil teams are always like a joke. Like, I hated Team Skull and Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Like, honestly, I feel like they got it right in Black and White and Black and White 2. Getsus really made it seem like he was a threat, like he meant business, like the world was literally going to end. And I miss that feeling. Like, I just don't enjoy playing the Pokemon storylines because they're just, they're so kitty and boring. Like, they're not even a threat. Like, give us something scary. <laughs> when I say mature, I obviously don't mean like sex and stuff, but like, you know, Pokemon is a kid's game, but I would like to see more, I guess, mature elements to it. Like, obviously keep it kid friendly, but anyway, going along with that, please, Game Freak, for the love of God, please give us the ability to skip the fucking tutorials. Oh my God, in Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It didn't even feel like the game began until like two hours in when you get to the second island. The entire first island was nothing but hand-holding. Please, for the love of God. There are people that still play these games that have, been, that have been playing them since childhood. I've been playing these damn games since Red, Blue, and Yellow. Please. I know how to catch Pokemon. I know what the hell I'm doing in battle. Please let us skip the tutorials please. Number four is something I think every Pokemon fan can get behind, and I would like to see more Pokemon with more unique typings. Now luckily in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they gave us stuff like Ultra Necrozma, which was Psychic Dragon, which we have not had before, and that's pretty awesome, but they should keep that up, please. Um, I would like to see something crazy like a Grass Fire type, something that doesn't make sense, that's fucking wild. Um, I would love to see like a Fairy Dark type, Stuff like that. I think that would be pretty damn interesting. Um, we have so many damn water ground types or rock ground types. We have so many of those we could <laughs> fucking shake a stick at. Please give us something new, something fresh. And while you're at it, give us some brand new abilities that are unique that are not just reskins of other abilities. Number three is something that I've literally seen people ask for since like the black and white days, and that is the ability to change the background for Wi Fi battles. Now, it can kind of technically be done, but it is a bit technical. It's for those people who use Citra to record their Wi-Fi battles and stuff, but you need third-party programs and stuff, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Not everybody can do it, and why we can't do this already is beyond me. Um, it would definitely spice up battles and add a little bit more flair, and uh, just make videos a bit more watchable, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think that would be a great thing, and it honestly shouldn't be that hard to implement in Pokemon on the Switch. Number two is an idea that I stole from Breath of the Wild. I would love to see a more dynamic weather system. So, you know how when you're playing Breath of the Wild, it can randomly start raining or snowing or whatever, depending on where you're at. I think this would be awesome. Now, Pokemon in the past has basically only had it rain on certain routes or snow in cold areas and stuff. But it would be pretty neat if you were just randomly traveling and it just started raining for whatever reason. Or if you're in a cold area, if it just randomly starts snowing. I think that would make the world a hell of a lot more immersive. Not only that, but you could also make it so that certain Pokemon only come out when it's doing some kind of weather condition. Like if it's raining, more water Pokemon come out. If it's snowing, more ice types come out, etc. You guys get the idea. Alright guys, we are finally here. The number one thing that I would like to see in Pokemon on the Switch is the ability to travel with your friends and see their trainers in the overworld if you guys are playing online together. How fucking cool would that be? Think about it. People have been asking for a Pokemon MMORPG for years. Now, this would technically not make it a Pokemon MMORPG. You'd basically only be playing with a couple friends online. But I feel like it would be honestly close enough. Um, I feel like this feature alone could sell games. Um, I think this would be something that would be incredible. Just imagine it, guys. The possibilities of you traveling with your friends, taking on dungeons, caves, gyms. Just the ability to simply train Pokemon beside your friends, like in the same area or whatever. That would be so cool. It would honestly make me feel like Ash does when he travels with Misty and Brock. It would be so, so neat, and uh, just imagine the possibilities, guys. 
Imagine taking on a cave together, exploring, and just seeing all the cool things in the world. That would be so cool. And uh, I think that would be an amazing feature. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It means so much to me, all the support. This video obviously took a decent amount of time to make, so I would appreciate it if you guys give me a like. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Discord. Links, as always, are in the description below. I'm going to get out of here, guys. I love you, and peace out.